Hello everybody, Crypto Explorer here with a quick video on using the Electronium command line wallet. Um, I briefly went over it in terms of uh, uh, importing keys and everything, but I uh, just want to make a quick video on how to do some basic things in that wallet. So let's get to it. First and foremost, you must start Electronium D.exe. Um, this will get you your wallet synced up with the blockchain. So it's going to see synchronization started. Now, depending on how long you've had this off, it could take a couple minutes to synchronize, it could take hours. So say for instance, if um, you haven't synchronized with the blockchain in, in, in a month or a week, it's, it would take a long time. Um, I've, Last time I synchronized with this was just earlier today. So you can see here it's done. It says I am now synchronized with the network. And once it's synchronized, you can start the electronium wallet.cli. So a lot of common problems is um, um, folks are not synchronized with the network when and they, or they don't have this started. So let me, I'm just going to close it. We're going to let's try to uh, get an error here. So I'm going to close this. So say for instance, you don't have this, the Electronium D.exe started and you try to um, open your wallet. So let's go to the test wallet that we created. Hit enter, put the password. Um, you'll get this error. So no daemon. So let's close it out and start this. Now, I'm going to start the wallet before it tells me. Hopefully, it doesn't take too. Uh, OK, well, it's already synchronized. So let's do this. Let's go back to that. Yeah, so it's synchronized with the network. So as you can see, we're synchronized with the network. Um, does a quick refresh and you can see some of the last transactions. Um, okay, let's just get to it. So here we're in the wallet. Um, some basic commands. One, address. It gives you your wallet address. Um, you'll see it over here in the top, but say for instance, if you run some commands and you haven't uh, done it in a while, you can type that command and get your wallet address highlight it and right click it in windows i'm not sure in mac and then you could actually let's type etn address and right click and paste and this is your wallet's address in an easier way for you to give it out to someone uh, another command that will be uh, that you would probably commonly use is balance this will show you what you have um, in here, you'll see uh, my balance is 1.48 and my unlocked balance is 0.4. Uh, unlocked means that is what I have available to spend right now. Um, it's because there's uh, a pending transfer that has not completely confirmed. And once it does completely confirm, I will be able to have the full amount to uh, that is unlocked. Um, we can another command you can do is show transfers. So say for instance, if you are, um, you will show you your recent transfers to see what's the status. In here, you see what we had in, in green, out in purple, and then if you have any pending ones, they'll be in white. So let's just go back to balance again to show our balance. Now. Um, I'm gonna send um, some electronium to this wallet real quick. So I just sent some electronium. And we're gonna do the show transfers. And you can see I have a pending one. 
um, of one electronium that's pending. Okay, let's go back to balance. And as you can see, um, our unlock balance is still 0 0.48. So let's um, show how to um, send, one moment, electronium. Say for instance, you mined a bunch of electronium to this wallet. Um, and you want to um, sell it to Cryptopia, I believe is the only one right now, you would do the command transfer space, and then you would put the wallet address that you want to send to. So let's just do it with this wallet. And then space, and then the amount. So I have an unlocked balance of 0 0.48. So let's see if I can send 40 to it. And then hit enter, put the wallet password, hit enter. Uh, I did not, I don't have a payment idea with this. So if I did, uh, I know Cryptopia, when you deposit there, you got to put a payment ID. You would put it um, right after the amount. So right after 0 0.40, you would put space and then the payment ID. But in this case, we don't have it. So let's click type Y for yes. And there's a three block backlog for this at this fee level. So because it's such a small fee, it's going to take a bit longer to send. You can up it, but it's going to take a while. So let's do this. So let us hit yes. And then the transaction fee is 0 0.01 and hit yes. And it's going to send. So let us check. Uh, oh, so you see this where it says wallet is out of sync. Let's go back here. See if there's anything. Hit enter. What you can do is a command called uh, rescan blockchain. Rescan underscore BC, hit enter. And what it's going to do is it's basically going to rescan the blockchain um, just to make sure that everything is back in sync. This one is saying it's in sync, but uh, let's type help. And we can see the different commands available to it. So let's see after we rescan the blockchain, which should be fairly well. So you can see it's going through all the different transactions uh, prior. Just let it go. Hopefully we can get it back in sync. Now it's at 12,000. Okay. And at 14,000. It's kind of good that this is a, a new, so you can see over here, it's now synced again. And we can see, I did send another electronium and we can see now the balance is two and we have 1.48 to spend. And then let's go show transfers to see that last. And we can see it's all green and purple, meaning they've completed, but um, the, Last one, let's go balance again, is not uh, completely confirmed. So that's why it's not unlocked. 
Okay, so we one second here. Let's just see where we we're off here. We sent uh, one electronium, and then I sent one back from my other wallet. So um, let's go over. Um, let's see. I think that's just about it. I mean, that's just a bit the basics of. Um, there's other things you can do, like uh, um, get transaction uh, info and store that. But um, I think for the basics of using the wallet, those are the basic commands you want to do. You want to be able to transfer. You want to be able to get your address and receive, and you want to be able to kind of get the status and know uh where where you're at with it and then of course if the blockchain if the wallet doesn't sync in sync you want to be able to um resync it so when you're done with your wallet you want to exit out by hitting exit oh just a side note you'll, you'll see these occasionally happen as you receive and spend um um uh, electronium so let's hit balance first see where we're at so that amount that we sent earlier it went through and now we only have one so when you're done of course best practice is to always exit your wallet you know close it up um, if you always want to be synced with the blockchain you want to keep this open but you don't have to the only problem is when you close it it's going to have to resync again so the longer you have it close the longer it'll take to uh, sync up with the, the blockchain. Anyway, that's it for now. Um, thank you for watching.